First, let's clarify how this operates a little bit. This property thing is effective. Before I guide you through the arithmetic behind earning a million through real estate, let's talk about buying rental properties first. This involves buying a house, duplex, apartment building, or anything and renting it out. So let's start by learning a little bit about how the real estate business works. Then, I'll show you in this video how someone can go from having almost nothing to being a millionaire by owning rental homes. When the four wealth generators are combined, you have the potential to become a millionaire. These four factors are what make owning rental properties so appealing. We'll talk about them because I truly want to get everyone on the same page when it comes to the principles of owning rentals and why they're so effective. Welcome to Financial Fluence. In this video, I'll teach you how to become a millionaire through real estate investing. Let's now get going. Number 1. Cash Flow the cash flow will be prioritized. The first consideration is cash flow, which is the extra money a property makes in profit each month. It's income minus expenses, and the key is understanding expenses, which can be difficult. When calculating, make sure to include all expenses, but this is essentially the money you have left over in your pocket at the end of each month. Number 2. Appreciation The second factor is appreciation which simply means that property values increase over time. Sure, things like 2008 happen, and prices do sometimes drop significantly. But over time, prices tend to rise as long as you can hold on to a property long enough, which is why cash flow, which we just discussed a second ago, is so important right now. Because as long as I'm making cash flow, I can hold on to it for as long as I need to. Number 3. Loan Pay Down Third, the Loan Repayment when you buy real estate, you usually get a loan from a bank, which you then repay each month. The loan is repaid over time, so while you may initially owe $200,000, you will eventually owe nothing. As a result, the loan begins here and gradually depreciates. Don't forget to subscribe for more real estate and investing tips. Let's return to the video now. Number 4. Tax Benefits In this video, we won't go into great detail about the fourth wealth generator tax breaks. In reality, however, tax breaks are enormous. For example, who do you think would have more money if you made $100,000 from real estate and your friend made $100,000 from a job or possibly their own business? You'd make far more money than your friend in real estate. Let me demonstrate how these four wealth generators operate. Assume you put down 20% when buying a rental home or you found a more creative way to finance it and did it with no money down, which is entirely possible. But suppose you did buy the house. Because I'm a nerd, here's a picture of our adorable tiny house, as well as a three-dimensional version. You paid $100,000 and put down 20%, or $20,000. This results in an $80,000 loan, also known as a mortgage. You are now the first wealth generator because you purchased a cash-flowing property. Assume your end-of-day cash flow is $200 per month or $2,400 per year. We'll call it $2,400 per year in terms of cash flow. This is the beginning of everything. So you earn $2,400 in a year. That's fantastic. But there's more to it because your loan balance fell from around $80,000 to around $80,000 during that time. That has actually decreased because the loan has been paid down over time. So you started at 80 and now owe around 78.5. So you've made about $1,500 just by loan paydown, but prices tend to rise on average. So the property is now worth $100,000. After a year, we anticipate a 3% increase on average. Let's add it all up. It is now worth a total of $133,000. As a result, your value is $3,000. Your monthly cash flow is $1,500, and your monthly value is $2,400. As a result, in your first year, you earned and increased your net worth by $6,900. You haven't yet become a millionaire, but the good news is that you're on your way. As you pay down the loan faster and faster, the value of the property rises. In reality, erasing and redrawing the graph makes one property less valuable and the other more valuable. The property's value, which we will refer to as the property's value, increased over time to $100,000. The loan, which is $80,000, decreases yearly while the asset's value increases by 3%. This spreads equity growth over time as you hold it. 
In fact, by the 10th year, it is worth somewhere around $100,000. Because you only owe about $60,000 on the property, you have approximately $70,000 in equity. By this point, you've amassed $94,000 in wealth from that single property. Many of you may be thinking, 10 years of work and I only made a hundred grand? It'll take me a hundred years to make a million dollars. However, consider that you have made $2,400 in cash flow per month and $2,500 in cash flow per year for a total of $24,000. The best part is that this is a one-time, low-cost investment. I mean, once you figure out how to do one deal, you can do another and another, and you're not limited to a $100,000 house. What if you invested $500,000 in a small apartment building or a house? The same principles apply over time. The value grows and the debt is repaid. You can become a billionaire by paying a little more off each month, increasing the value a little bit more each month, and getting richer. You buy properties that give you a steady stream of rental income and increase in value over time. As you pay off your loan, you get richer and richer until you no longer need it. One of your concerns may be, how am I going to come up with all these down payments if I'm going to buy a bunch of rental properties? While you may save up for the down payment initially, I built my entire portfolio using some other creative strategies, such as house hacking or burr investing or using partners or raising private money. Perhaps you'll fix and flip houses and reinvest the profits into rental properties. Second, how can you tell if you're getting a good deal? you'll need to learn how to analyze them. Third, how will you keep track of all these properties? In a nutshell, you don't. You could, but a property manager manages the vast majority of my properties. Of course, you must continue to manage your manager. It is they who receive late night phone calls, not you. Lastly, what if the market falls? That's why I invest in cash flow and rental properties. If the market falls, great. I'll just hold on to them and buy more because everything is on sale. Real estate can help you become a millionaire. I did it in less than a decade. And that's all. I hope you enjoy this video. If you enjoy similar stuff, check out my other videos. And if you like it, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell. And I'll see you in the next video.